corn farmer here. I'm going to show y'all the effects of all the rain we've had down here in South Alabama. I'm standing here at a little field of mine where I had some Mississippi purple hoil peas planted. And uh, they have just uh, drowned virtually. Uh, let me see if I can turn the camera around here where y'all can get a look at it. Now you have to understand these peas were up a good uh, seven, eight inches. Had some deer damage come along in them. And then all this rain came uh, and uh, just kept coming. And now they're just uh, sitting here. I don't even think they're gonna come out of it. You can see the peas coming up in the rows here. And they might make it, but it's gonna be uh, doubtful. So let me show you the ground here where we're at. Those pieces you see sticking up looks like pea rows. I'm fixing to get down here where you can see them. That's where they were at. And they are uh, just buried in the grass because the grass course come up with all the rain. But I'll get down here where you can kind of see the rows where they were maybe. I don't know, y'all might could have seen the rows there. But uh, anyway, y'all been getting a bunch of rain anywhere else and y'all probably already know about it. Fixing to go over here and look at some corn that I got. See how bad washed out it is. Going right up here on old Alice. Alice is a 1979 model Alice Chelmer 7000 for any of you that know about tractors, 115 horsepower. Give y'all a shot of Alice. All right, let me get on out of here and we'll ride on back to the over to the cornfield. Check it out. See what we got. I'll get with you when we get over there.